I grew up an hour south of here in Salisbury, so I'm, I feel like I'm a local. Yeah, so I was drawn to the medical field because I loved math. My mom was a nurse growing up and I am very competitive and I thought I wanted to do something bigger, um, which now I know it's not bigger, but um, you know, I was always interested in the medical field. I wanted to be a chemist originally and then I really liked working with people. So I decided to choose medicine. So for medical school, I went to Eastern Virginia Medical School in Norfolk, Virginia, which is, um, you know, pretty close to home and it was a great school for me. I, uh, I went into internal medicine first and that allowed me to choose from a bunch of different specialties. I loved internal medicine, but I really wanted to do some procedures and gastroenterology had a lot of physiology, which I loved, really fun procedures. The group of people that were in the gastroenterology department were just kind of fit with my personality. So I did some research with them and um, decided that was for me. I think gastroenterology is a really good field. There's so much diversity within gastroenterology that you can do. It's still kind of like primary care, so you're, I still feel like you're kind of on the front lines, which is awesome because you're doing the screening colonoscopies and finding colon cancer early or preventing it. So you have the preventative medicine, but you can also decide to specialize in transplant hepatology or advanced procedures. So I feel like it's the best of both worlds. Yeah, so I think the best thing about building rapport with patients and, and getting the education out there is to start off by listening, you know? Uh, so often we interrupt people before they even finish their sentence. So kind of take a second and listen and kind of hear their story. So if there's going to be a reason that they're scared of doctors or scared of procedures, then you can kind of start thinking about that in your mind and trying to talk about why it's so important and how, um, how the risks really don't, how the risk, how the benefits outweigh the risks of the procedures and the screening, different screening mechanisms that we can do and follow up appointments so that we stay communicating and it's not just like, let me do a procedure and be done. I think a big misconception about colon cancer is that you're gonna have rectal bleeding or gonna have symptoms. You know, I have so many patients that are young and healthy and feel good and it's very similar to primary care in that patients with high blood pressure don't feel bad until have a stroke you know it's the same thing with colon cancer you really don't know that you have a large polyp or a cancer growing inside you most of the time sometimes you do but a lot of times you're nothing has changed you're not losing weight you're eating fine your bowel movements are the same but we go in there and we find a big polyp that we can take out endoscopically and you know prevent you from having a surgery or, or chemotherapy or radiation yeah, so I was, I've been in the area for three years and I love it here, I really do. But I trained in a center with a bunch of gastroenterologists and so when I came to BB to do my procedures, to be able to interact with a bunch of different gastroenterologists and have that camaraderie and the communication about different patients and cases and kind of bounce ideas back and forth between providers, I think that's awesome that's what I trained with that's what I like and so I'm happy to be you know with a group of people that we can have those conversations yeah so the BBGI group it's awesome so far every you know I'm definitely the new kid on the block but I, I've known them since I've been here and they all have their different their different niches that they're good at that I feel comfortable talking to them about and they all are welcoming and excited to kind of form this venture together. So yeah, I think it's, it's a great group.